Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So I'd like to share with you a small discussion we had on the new calculus discord. So as you'll see, if you do decide to join the discord server, you can only have access to lobby and questions. But if you pass a 10 question test on the new calculus, you'll have access to all these other channels. So I'm going to give you a little foretaste of what we discuss in these other channels. So let's begin. Now, some user here looked at a link on Wikipedia called Fluxion, and he said, if only people kept on listening to Bishop Berkeley. <laughs> well, uh, if only they had listened to Bishop Berkeley, because they weren't even listening to him at all. So. Uh, Berkeley was basically saying Newton's method is a lot of garbage, and he was right. And, of course, uh, the other mathematicians of the time uh, didn't know any better, so they basically just, you know, cast their two cents and left it at that. Now, let's look at fluxions, okay? A fluxion is an instantaneous rate of change. It's just a total load of BS because... There is no such thing as an instantaneous rate of change, and there is no function <clears throat> which necessarily corresponds to such a rate of change. Now, h did not have to be zero and did not have to approach zero. If Newton would have simply realized that the terms in h are the slope difference, the problem would have been solved right back then, but it took me 400 years later to actually solve the tangent line and area problem. I solved it, not Newton, not Leibniz, not Cauchy, not Weierstrass, not anybody else. I solved it. Okay, how did I do that? I did that through my historic geometric theorem. <coughs> Excuse me, which is this theorem that proves this identity. Okay. And by the way, this identity has nothing to do with that excrement on Wikipedia known as the fundamental increment lemma. And of course, um, I've called it appropriately the holy grail of calculus. And you're looking at right there. I shall post a link to both these articles. Now, Berkeley, it says, refused to believe that they were accurate because of the use of the infinitesimal. Well, no infinitesimal was used because there is no such thing. Okay. Newton setting h equals to zero back then is equivalent to ignoring the slope difference, q of x, h. That's all it is. H doesn't have to be zero. It doesn't have to approach zero. <clears throat> it just needs to be ignored. Okay. So, and of course, Berkeley knew that something was amiss because it, it must either be a magnitude or it's not a magnitude as in zero. So um, then, of course, there's that quote which says, and led to the eventual disuse. Well, that's also bunch of bullshit because, I mean, if something doesn't exist, it couldn't have been used in the first place. So all that happened was that the process was redone in terms of epsilon delta inequalities with both infinity and infinitesimal still being the same central underlying ideas. Okay. So uh, the, the bullshit artists of the last 200 years actually didn't solve anything. They didn't rigorize anything. Uh, they, they were... They are uh, mentally, academically, and in every other respect, incompetent and haven't done any such thing. It took me to rigorize calculus for the first time. That's right, John Gabriel. As for Newton's fluxions, this is just nonsense as it has no correspondence to smooth functions in mathematics. Okay, so maybe in a few decades or sooner, somebody will be saying, if only people listened to the great John Gabriel. So this topic is one of my favorite topics. And I think that I have been very unfairly treated. And I think history will show that, um, especially given that I solved these problems and nobody else was able to. So I'm not going to harp on that anymore. I don't give a shit what any of you think. You're all fools, in my opinion. And those of you who agree with me, good on you. 
because that means your brain is working correctly. If you're not already a subscriber, become one. Click like, follow me on academia.edu. It's this particular site here where I post a lot of free articles. Also, people, I've written a few, bit, a few books. And believe it or not, uh, it's in your interest to buy these books. They're pretty cheap because, for example, in this one here, I reveal a lot of knowledge that has never been revealed before. Okay. And in a format that even an idiot can understand. So I would encourage you to buy that. And then, of course, <clears throat> uh, this book here is incredible. It's the Nonfiction Origins and History of Calculus. And then, of course, the ultimate book of numbers is the best book ever written on the concept of number and explains exactly what numbers are. And then, naturally, the first book, which is What is the New Calculus? And believe it or not, uh, all these books are in your interest to study well so that you can learn what mathematics and calculus is all about. And if you're not already a subscriber, you can go on to my <clears throat> YouTube channel, click on any video and join. For a mere $4.99 a month, you'll have access to all the goodies I just mentioned, even those books without having to pay for them on Amazon. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel till next.